Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel and on my YouTube community section I have asked you guys to choose the topic you want to do pick a card on and that's what I'm going to be doing. Now I'm going to be asking you what do you need guidance on, what do you feel like seeing next because at the end of the day it's all about you guys and me putting out content that you want to see and uh, this time it's not as much about guidance but I always like to incorporate guidance in it you have voted for pick a card 2020 blessings and the second place was for when will I see the sunshine so I think those two kind of go together right so what else I wanted to say something else oh by the way I've got microphone now so I hope the sound is better because last week I think I had a comment saying audio is terrible I'm like hmm let me plug in I've plugged in um, old ass earphones in uh, the PC at work and I'm like I'm gonna check it out how it sounds like on different device and different earphones because I usually use laptop or my iPhone and different earphones and it actually sounded really bad so I hope this is gonna be much better for you guys okay let me know in the comments down below anyway I hope you're all doing well I know the shifts have been massive in January and uh, a lot of you have been feeling it so stay strong try to just kind of live by it if you're still feeling it it's gonna go away you'll feel renewed really soon guys at least that's what happened to me and people around me that I know of if you feel like what might be happening lately, you might be feeling like, you know what, screw it, I don't want to do this anymore, or would it be work, or um, I don't know, friendships, um, relationships, whatever it is, take a look at it from a different perspective and see if this hasn't been working out for you for some time. If so, this is your chance to change something around, okay? And I think change always brings something better, okay? Because it's new, it's, it's fresh energy, it teaches you something new maybe that you didn't come across before. So I hope these changes are going to be beneficial for you guys, even though it might be feeling a little bit intimidating sometimes. And um, I know a couple of tarot readers have been feeling that too, you might even notice it. Um, on their stories or on their posts or in their videos and just remember you're not alone okay now let's get to the pick a card what we're doing today is we are picking as usual from my intuitive deck and um, this is just an abstract deck deck I have been asked many times where people can get it from this is my own handmade deck and I haven't started selling it because I'm like I don't think it's the right moment in my life I don't think I have enough time for this because I'm purely concentrated on YouTube and private readings as well maybe one day okay so here we go for pile number one we have this intuitive card over here that's for pile number one for pile number two, we have this intuitive card over here. For pile number three, we have this intuitive card over here. So stop the video if you need some more time and I'm going to see you in timestamps. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen this intuitive card over here, we are jumping into your reading. So, I want to talk about first, I always like to go off the past first of how you might have been feeling before so you can relate to it. If you feel like maybe this is not your storyline, maybe pick another deck or just take messages that really vibes with you from this pile, okay? So, I'm starting with the Oracle deck and um, I've asked... What were the past energies for you? And what we have here, it says, well, I like this card a lot, but it doesn't feel very nice sometimes when you go through it. It's the ever unfolding rose and it says cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. Okay, 
So this is all about saying, hey, whatever has happened in the past, whatever you've been going through, especially pile number one, I'm gonna try to be as ab abstract as possible. There are so many out there, but it feels like people in pile number one have been dealing with unfair situations. I'm hearing I needed justice for this. I wanted this to end in a fair way and maybe you have not been treated right. Maybe you had any, any kind of court dealings. Um, when it comes to work, maybe you felt like you were being treated unfair. When it comes to relationship, same thing, being treated unfairly. And whatever the situation, this is saying it happened to you, okay? Not, sorry, for you, not to you, okay? So it's all about understanding and taking something out of this. I know it might be difficult sometimes because especially past, I think, month, around a month, I've been getting messages and comments that are very like frustrated and I understand. But the thing here is, I feel like you have started seeing why this has happened to you and why things maybe were not as you wanted them to be. When it comes to your future, and in pile number one, I pulled from one, two, three, four decks, and all of them tie in like this. Oh my God, I, I was pulling cards. I'm like, what the heck is going on for pile number one? Now, what's part of the blessing for you? And it might seem small, but this is going to bring you something very important in your life. What's happening in the future, this is saying you are finally learning how to have healthy boundaries with people. People don't understand how having healthy boundaries can impact your life. Let's say if you have been someone, especially if you have been someone who have been walked over or haven't been treated right, it's all about justice for pile number one, okay? This is what's happening. It says, where do you need to establish better, better boundaries? And that's what you're going to be doing in the future. Let me focus. See, so this is all about saying, hey, you know what? Um, no, I don't, I don't like the way this person treated me. I, I don't like how this job treated me before, or I don't like how in general life was treating me before. Therefore, what you're doing here, you're taking power in your own hands in order to decide your future. And that's very powerful um, because that's going to bring you a lot in the future. Funny fact, when I've pulled one card from the, <laughs> from the animal tarot deck for your past, it's justice. It says fair decisions will be made after all evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of disagreement, right? So it's all about this balance, balance, and especially when it comes to boundaries. Um, funny fact, we have justice right in the middle. I pulled three cards from this deck. I think it's called the Urban Tarot for those who, who will be asking. It's justice again. So you get injustice in 2020. So for everything that has been happening, maybe there was a cycle for you like, oh my God, this is not working out for me. But then bang, something happens where life puts you, puts you on the right track through a bit of struggle, but you come back on track and much stronger. When it comes to your future card from Animal Tarot, we have a beautiful card, The World. It says, Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You've made it through the changes and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. So it's all about being graceful in the past. If you um, have gone through this period with grace and understanding, this is saying, hey, that's what's coming for you. This reminds me a lot of six of wands, winner type of card. Now, when we're looking at your um, tea leaf tarot, we've got shield. And it's so funny how this vibes together. This is saying, hey, how are you shielding yourself? All about justice, all about boundaries, all about taking care of yourself and you'll see how everything will start pouring after you have implemented this in your life okay then the second card we have is stork so for some of you that's the message 
news of a birth or a new business opportunity. So those who are aiming to have a child, that's something that's gonna be possible for you in 2020. Those who are aiming to have their business flourish, that's what's happening for you in 2020. And it's funny because the third card that we have, it's coins and it says money will be coming to you. So whoever has been struggling with money, especially, in pile number one, or maybe you didn't have enough money for any kind of court dealings or you've been treated unfairly because of money somehow, maybe people were telling you stuff or family was giving you pressure or people around you was giving you pressure, were giving you pressure, that's gonna be gone. But what you're gonna be really happy about though, it's a bit of a different story, okay? We started with the lovers. Okay, so if you have been waiting for justice when it comes to your relationships, romantic, non-romantic, whatever relationships, that's what's happening for you. And finally, with this person, that's treating me right. I'm finally in the circle, in my tribe. I finally started through keeping my boundaries, okay, intact. Um, I've started having really, really good time and then bang with that. Somehow when I fixed my boundaries and uh, I've gotten the situation resolved, okay, that's when my money kept, starts flowing in my life somehow and that's what happens. If there is one blockage in your life that you have to fix, if you fix that, everything else that's been waiting above that blockage starts pouring, okay? So you have money coming in, at least better opportunities in your life. And you have suddenly people who do belong in your life, makes sense? And then we have justice that we talked about in the middle and that's followed at the end by three of cups. You know what that means? All about having a blast. And this is very much connected with really good times but especially when it comes to people who are in your tribe guys i feel like the card that you've picked from the intuitive this card to me uh seems like some kind of information came to surface and whenever that information came to surface it has somehow twisted your life it has changed everything and maybe it has been a little bit of a hassle but this had to happen in order for you to start seeing the shift, to start accepting everything that life was prepared to offer for you. It's a lot to do with, hey, if I'm being treated like this or life keeps giving me these challenges, um, how can I go about this gracefully? How can I really analyze myself and understand what is it that I've been doing wrong all along? Maybe I didn't wanna see. Maybe I wasn't just paying attention. I just kept blaming situations or people, you know, it always come back, comes back to you. And now bang, once you decided to be like, you know what, I'm going to be in my power. I'm not going to be distracted by people or situations. And whatever happens, I'm going to stay strong. And that is grace, okay? Sometimes people start storm, storming off and being angry and maybe expressing that anger on other people but because you didn't or because you won't that is what's gonna be happening for you i mean expect abundance man like really expect abundance now let's take a look at especially i feel like some of you will be going to a wedding wedding is very strong here celebration so i'd say really, really big celebrations, maybe engagement, um, massive birthday party. So that would be someone celebrating their 30th, 40th, 50th, 60th, okay? It's something about that grand feeling of celebrations. Um, I feel like some of you might hook up with someone or meet someone during the celebration of some sort, okay? And whatever has happened in the past, guys, I feel your pain in pile number one, I feel your frustration, but believe me, you're on to the right track, okay? It's soon to be gone if you're still in it. For those who have just gone through it, I can just congratulate you. Let's see what else, what else is happening here, okay? 
it keeps I keep seeing pentacles there is a lot of abundance so some of you will be um, taking deeper interest in your craft and uh, that is what is going to bring you this success so somehow you're approaching your work or your business um, from a different perspective you're digging deeper you're analyzing things therefore we have coins coming your way okay let's see what else I mean come on guys really really nice relationships family vibe uh, very cozy very beautiful Ooh, pile number one it seems like you have a bit of both and I'm really really glad because it feels like pile number one has been for one especially one very unfair situation in your life um, these past two years I'm hearing okay so whatever has happened brush it off go out there and live your life because in 220 you're going to have a lot coming your way okay let me see what else here and you'll have clarity so it seems like the clouds will be gone i keep hearing clouds will be gone so whatever clouds you have right now would it be i don't know money would it be a relationship would it be court dealings any kind of formal dealings for you guys especially this is saying you'll find the way how to manage it there is no need to worry for pile number one you've been through the worst i'm hearing okay so i hope this made sense let me know if it did and i'm gonna catch you next time bye for now Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile number two, this intuitive card over here. Just taken from what you've chosen as your intuitive cards, I keep hearing, we're talking about the past first, because I really like to talk about the past before we get into the future predictions. I think that's important to cover. If you feel like whatever I'm going to be telling you regarding the past is not your vibe, maybe just listen to the whole reading and take uh, take only messages that do resonate with you and feels right for you. Otherwise, maybe you do want to, especially for pile number two, I feel like you might want to check out one more pile. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> but I have a feeling. So what we starting with, taking energies from your chosen card that keep hearing winter left out in a cold um, but there is something about you planning something for yourself this year and whatever you plan and it seems like it's as as almost as you start in some kind of new endeavor and that new endeavor is something that has been on your mind for some time and maybe you finally doing it in 220 Okay, when it comes to your cards, I do want to start with the Oracle deck. Work your light tarot. Sorry, work your light Oracle deck. And I've picked one card for your past and one for your future. And we're going to see how these energies compare. So for the past, very funny, <laughs> we are. We have this card, the Initiation, and it's pretty dark. Uh, so I'm getting a lot of dark cards for the past for people lately. And I think it's due to that shift that just happened uh, it says rite of passage crossing the threshold so where is it that you want to go i have a question guys pile number two because it seems like there's been a lot of darkness at one point okay and we all go through this but for you even if you did go through this darkness you are very focused to where you want to go you are like hey i know where it is that i want to go and doesn't matter what life brings me i'm still gonna get there because before i was much further away from that okay now i start finally i've started seeing the light and it's something about you really concentrated on whatever this goal is for you for some of you well i don't want to talk about it uh, now i'll do it a bit in a minute okay i want to continue with the future energies because i keep looking at that card and they vibe so well together i'm like mm. So the future energies we have, it's very funny because it vibes together with what I'm seeing from tarot and also from the animal tarot. It says deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. So what you're doing in the future is you guys 
will somehow shift your life so that it gives you this pleasure of taking care of yourself it's something about you taking care of yourself and how do you take care of yourself it can be different scenarios for each of you it can be moving the place moving the country moving out from someone who's toxic leaving the relationship leaving this job finally traveling okay and it's something about you saying hey you know what i'm gonna create the life that I don't have to escape from okay it's something about you creating a life that you don't need to regularly escape from so let's take a look at your animal sorry about the light it keeps doing that um, animal tarot when we're talking about the past energies I'm gonna read it out for you it's seven of spring and it says be assertive believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely so it seems like maybe you have been given too much for others or there is one more situation that i can't fully get a grasp of but i feel it uh, when someone takes away your power however they do it it's not nice and that's something that you will be returning to yourself you'll be like you know what na 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 back to business okay so for the future it's spring springtime is going to be important for you guys because i have two spring cards over here and it says your vision creativity and dedication to your cause have brought you great success in fact, it may be in your best interest to get a partner to assist in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. So it's all about business and collaborations or collaborating with people who maybe have the same vision. I don't know if you do have your own business, if you do want to get something maybe signed or if you do want to come up with new ideas, maybe something that you haven't tried before. But whatever is happening in 20 for people here, it's a lot to do with, firstly, um, occupation that is a little bit different from other people's occupations, somehow, is that your approach, is that career not thought of a normal career, okay? It's something about you wanting to do this, and I'm going to show it to you now once we get to the Kipper deck. So if you take a look at the work and occupation card that I've pulled, uh, that's talking about your 220 um, blessings, this is saying, hey, look at that woman over here, okay? She is someone who does have a job, but it's not very common. People don't see this job as something, or maybe this approach, as something that is very well known or something that is very... It's just different. I can't even find words for it. So whatever you do, and this this lady reminds me of a witch. So maybe you do have your own channels. Maybe you do do energy work of some sort, star or whatever it is, guys. You do have a different approach to work and career in 220, and that's gonna be your blessing. Now, what else we have here? What when you change in this up for yourself, you finally get in rest okay so we only talk uh, looking at the blessings this says rest or illness so scrap that and we're talking about you having more time to relax you having this better lifestyle than you had before and that's what you're creating for yourself for a lot of you that's what i said you know you had this vision all along and those colors remind me a lot of this card what you're going for can you see that happening this it seems like you can see a bit of that water so you've been coming out of this throughout maybe 2019 because you had a vision but you maybe couldn't get a grasp of it somehow fully in 220 you are already standing there and for a lot of you that's going to be connected with traveling somewhere changing locations changing places changing jobs maybe you want to travel for work or maybe you just want to go somewhere that is more peaceful that is 
nicer somehow for your soul you know so it's something about you creating this lifestyle that you don't have to escape from okay and it's beautiful i root for pile number two this is something that i'm aiming for too and I have all these cards for you guys to show that you are going to be successful. Because when I've pulled tarot, I only pulled three tarot cards. Straight away, we're starting with Page of Pentacles. You guys are learning something new. You are maybe getting interested more into in occult, in um, things that are not traditional you approach in life in a different perspective you in general are someone who probably has a connection with tarot somehow or um healings or maybe you are a medium i don't know what it is that you do even if you work for a company whatever that job is that you aiming for is a bit different from that if it makes sense then second card we've got again it's pentacles it's all about career finances and money you will have to probably juggle a couple of jobs or a couple of things family and finances family sorry family and career maybe you, you're gonna be taking care of someone whilst you're trying to make this happen for yourself uh, i see juggling two things at the same time but it's not that you're unhappy you will be very capable of doing so but whatever you're learning pile number two it's Whew, it's very inspiring in the first place secondly this is like i keep seeing gold color i don't know what it is uh, would it be related to pe golden pentacles would it be related to maybe jewelry for some of you would it be related to something that is very precious for you to hold okay and then as i said hold i looked at the third card and we have impressed so some of you might be um that's what came through in pile number one actually uh might be having children might be getting pregnant might be this don't take this pregnancy as an actual pregnancy because for a lot of you it's going to be this business idea or this business of some sorts that is very different but very precious for you therefore she is taking care of that belly as if it was her golden egg you know that's what i saw uh in the page of pentacles over here let me focus a bit better it never does though but you can see over there so for you guys main energies here is having a life that you can really cherish and please for pile number two you're not you're not far away so some of you already have an idea of some sorts and you see the way um, some of you have already gone on the right track where you want to go some of you have started making um, travel plans okay how do I get there some of you have started thinking about changing jobs or improving your business somehow and uh, some of you have started trying for kids okay so whatever i've mentioned one of those things will be happening for you in 2020 but for pile number two i have this very strong feeling of finally you know i can finally relax i can finally have enough time for myself i can finally get out of that cycle and when I said cycle, I looked at the two of pentacles, you know, and it seems like she's been juggling for a while now because you can even see the traces, trace of the, um, of those two pentacles, you know, the, um, infinity sign, you know, this is like, this kept happening, this kept happening. And, uh, it's something about you guys, as I said before, when it comes to your past, when I said you were left out in a cold and i had the really cold feeling about your past um just being maybe lonely or alone even if you're surrounded by people that's something you're leaving behind okay and that's something that will be very massively changing for you i mean for pile number two this was a great reading because i can't even explain you what kind of emotions i'm feeling when i'm talking to you I cannot find right words for what's gonna shift and happen for you in 220 and it's not as much about material things 
or about 3D things. It's about how you'll create your life so that it will give you this fulfillment and peace. Peace is a big thing for pile number two and probably freedom as well. And that's that's what you're going to be stepping into in 220. So I hope this made sense. Let me know if it did and I'm going to catch you next time. Bye for now. Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile number three and this intuitive card over here. Ooh, 2020, hey? So as I said to the previous piles, I always like to start with past energy so you can relate to it. If you don't fully relate to the past energies, maybe pick another deck or listen to both because I feel like there might be another message for you, okay? When we tune into your past, it seems like, you know how I see a vision and I'm gonna show it to you in cards as well. And actually tarot is vibing AF today because I'm just so surprised how three different deck, four, four different decks vibe together and lock in like that, you know, just confirming one another. It's saying, it's basically, I see a person being stuck in a toxic situation or environment. And more so, other pals had an issue too in the past. But for pile number three, is not as much as, it's not, it's not as much about your own causes, a lot of this has been caused by someone else. So I see you locked up in a cage or locked up in a house, even though you're not locked actually, right? Maybe some of you were even on this level. I'm not sure about all of your situations, but someone is being restricted, has been restricted in the past by someone else a lot of you i'm seeing that was by someone else someone else's influence has kept you captive however you wanna interpret this okay and you are finally escaping in 2020 and how you escape in this situation is with a massive bang i mean You know why I said this wasn't mostly you keeping your, your own self trapped? Is because when I've pulled your Oracle deck for the past energies, what I have there, this card tells me that you kick ass on your own and it's, it seems like one very precious person has been influenced in such a way that maybe the they couldn't escape for some time, however you wanna put it, okay? We have priestess card for the past energies. It says, how are you being called to step up and lead? And maybe throughout all of this time you wanted to lead, okay? You wanted to be a leader. You wanted to show yourself to the world. You wanted to do this and that and that. And maybe somehow you couldn't. And um, this is a beautiful, beautiful card, okay? This is saying you have the power, would it be you? masculines would it be you feminines this is all about holding that power in your in your hands palms right and um, when I took took a look at your past energies with the animal tarot deck look what we have it's eight of winter right captive it says it's so easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't trust that God will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom and that was had what was happening in the past here. When we look at the tarot, the first card pops out is death. And my death in this deck is very different. And I was wondering why am I being drawn to the god triple goddess tarot? Because I needed to see this card, okay? And these two vibe very much together. This woman has seen a lot in that house, okay? And she's like, you know what? I'm leaving, I'm going to the woods. And the third card in tarot, she's already in the woods and she's gonna take the leap of faith. I mean, we have a lot to talk about in pile number three. Well, you escaped or you will escape in the near future a situation that wasn't only difficult to escape because of your own mentality 
um, your own beliefs, but also someone who very highly influenced this. Okay, and I'm sorry I had to go through this pile number three because I really feel it. I almost feel like someone has chained me. Would it be mentally or would it be physically somewhere? And didn't let me go. Okay, in some cases it can be your own mind. In some cases it can be someone else's influence. Okay, and it can be jobs, it can be relationships, it can be anything, parents sometimes or bad financial situation, you know, just captive, you can't take, you can't move. When it comes to your future energies though, this is beautiful. I mean, wow, these are vibing so much together. Um, I had to pull two cards for future energies from the Oracle. And now I understand why. Because the first card that came out, it's birth in a new age, birth in new creations, dreaming a new world into being. And can you see how this card See how freedom feels like. That's how freedom feels like. She has her hands up in the air. Look at this lady over here. She has her hands up in the air too. And it's all about finally um, free from whatever it is you have been trying to escape. Now, third card that I pulled that I didn't know why I had to pull it. It says get grounded. That's what's going to be happening in the future. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Now, one of the problems uh, for the past for you was... You are too empathetic, you are too caring, and maybe that is why you have been somehow held captive, okay? By feeling, mm, I don't feel, you know, I don't want to hurt someone or I don't want to say something that's going to hurt people, whatever, whatever. Now, take a look at when, this is talking, the fool is talking that in 220, you're going to take a massive risk that you haven't taken for a long time. And that's going to be the best thing that will happen to you for pile number three and I think you already know what I'm talking about. Now look how she is in the forest here and look at those uh, little orbs over there. Take a look at this card get grounded. This person is in the forest and they have all chakras lined up, all chakras in place, very grounded, very stable. So whatever ha that has happened that threw you off guard or kind of effed you up in a way, you know, that's what you're getting rid of. And it seems like how you're doing so, so first off, realizing that that's not a good situation. Sayonara, I'm on to this new endeavor. Now, whoever will be taking, well, a lot, a lot of you will, a risk of some sort with a full card. It's going to be great, guys. Look, take a look at even the full and the future energy I pulled for you from the animal tarot. Running free, right? It's all about running free. This is the winning type of card. This is all about you exploring the world, exploring this new life that you have out of that cage, okay? And um, there's going to be one person, we're going to take a look at it, uh, who will be very influential for you. Some of you might decide to come back home or some of you might decide to move away from home. So whatever the situation, okay, for a lot of you, um, this is whatever it is, guys, it's all about the risk that you want to take and you will take it. But I feel like a lot of you will take it in the second half of 220, okay? We have one person who will be influential in you taking, somehow they will be helpful for you. Uh, because in between the toxicity and the fool card starting something new, right? I'm sorry, the ring lights are not helping, I know. Um, is this one person that you feel very close with and whoever this person is, they somehow will help you out um, in this new endeavor. Okay, let's take a look at who this person will be. Whew. Pile number three, man. It's like a prison break of some sort. What's happening? Let me know in the comments down below. Who is this person? Please describe it for me. This is someone who is super clever, okay, first off. Someone who might be working in a field that requires a lot of logical thinking. Uh, if not that, this is someone who thinks mostly based, based on logic or makes decisions based on logic, not emotions. So someone who, is not, who might be a little bit cold-hearted and a bit of an asshole sometimes in the best way possible. Okay, so you know you have two types of friends. You have those friends you go um, for, 
you go to that you want them to comfort you and you go to those friends who uh, will tell you the truth so we're talking about this person who will tell you the truth um, doesn't matter how hard the situation if they'll see that you are not in right mindset they will tell you if they'll see that you are not correct or if you're doing something wrong they'll tell you and uh, this is someone who is very very honest let's take a look at what else Tara can tell us about this person this is someone also who possibly could travel with you or towards you and that's what's leading me to the <laughs> oh my god Tara is tying in like so so much today that's what's leading me I think I've pulled the card from the tea leaf tarot that's talking about traveling with a friend or enjoying time. Let me see which one. Dog. It says pleasure with a close friend. And I feel like that's what this is talking about. For some of you, you will be traveling towards a friend or a friend will be traveling towards you. Whoever this person is, this is someone who will be helping you to transition somehow from this gray space it was black before now you might be in gray to this purely new white light okay something that you have been waiting for and that might seem risky for you and whoever this person is they're not afraid of risks believe me they are like you know what you want to go there we're on to the next adventure i got you okay let's take a look what else we have here great happiness some of you might have a connection with music or want to be musicians so maybe some of you even collaborating with a friend musically okay in very rare cases here and then we've got doing something risky you see you see what i mean how tarot is vibing doing something risky taking a chance and as a tiger i mean this is amazing for pile number three i think you are you do have the biggest the riskiest i would say okay shift out of all three piles and uh, that is something that needs balls okay <laughs> doesn't matter you man or woman listening to this this transition will need you to have balls and i think you're ready to start something new i feel like i want to pull a couple of more cards to see what future holds for you from the animal tarot because i feel like there is something that I have not said let's see tell us the 2020 you may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage it's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do and that's what you're learning in 220 okay let me pull one more this is saying some of you might have to juggle two things at once for some time okay not throughout whole 220 i mean come on and we have fourth spring it says it's time to kick back relax and celebrate all that you have joy arises from success in your career the completion of a project or a very happy home life so we're ending with a super super chill card after you have taken whatever that risk was for you okay so take a look at the shift from this to that i'm tired i need a break it's been too much there was too much okay whatever has happened in that house uh now i am free and i can i can finally take that break so pile number three congratulations you are coming out of a very very it seems like difficult situation that you have been in for some time and uh, it might not seem like it for other people around you but it's very i feel it like i feel how difficult it was for you maybe throughout 2019 it was just a really difficult year but i feel like for most of you whatever the situation it wasn't about the time it was about how difficult it was for you to get away from it okay because i'm hearing it might have felt like ages and now once you are coming out of it and you will start running free in 2020 it will feel like a fresh breath of air a lot of you are turning into meditation and starting being more grounded than before and a lot of you are tuning into your energy what you're supposed to be a leader guys 
whoever you are, you were never supposed to be trapped in the first place. So just find that way how you're gonna do it in 2020 because I feel like a lot of you have started working on, on a plan of some sort. Whatever the plan 2020 blessing is very closely connected to taking some sort of a risk. That's all I have for you, part number three. Let me know if that resonated. I'm gonna catch you next time. Bye for now.